Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Um, today I'll be talking about a very interesting career and this is something very intriguing and to be very honest, I'm pretty sure that most of you haven't even heard about this. So uh, I'm seeing it with a lot of confidence to be honest, right? I hope I'm wrong because it's a very interesting career field. So I'll be talking about uh, how can one make a career in curation, but what is curation? Um, curation is all about organizing, collecting or having, you know, a collection uh, of anything to be honest and presenting it in an exhibition or whatever way. Now, when I speak of exhibition, the first thing that comes to your mind is art galleries, uh, museums. Absolutely, you're absolutely right there. Curation started as a concept with museums, art galleries and antiques. And to be honest, it's still doing really well with some of the biggest uh, organizations like Sotheby's in the world, which is doing really well when it comes to art galleries and antiques, uh, precious jewelry. It collects everything. But curation has become more than that. Curation is not just about collecting, you know, uh, the work of the best artists in the world, putting it in a museum or opening a personal gallery and selling those paintings, acquiring orders, gathering antiques. Uh, working with archaeologists, uh, understanding how these things were ex um, ex um, excavated and how to use them. But the idea is curation has become a very diverse profession and has infiltrated a lot of industries. Um, speaking of the fashion and luxury industry, curation has become such an important aspect. Uh, you must have heard about personal shoppers, personal curators. These people, what they do is they work a very closely with fashion brands and designers and related professionals in the industry. And literally, they curate and collect all the pieces, let's say handbags, uh, shoes, dresses, which were really popular when they came out earlier and they have a collection of those. They have, uh, some of them have tie-ups with brands which are working and they, you know, take the stocks that have been outdated and not working well in the market and keep a collection of them so that five or seven years later or even, even now they can be used and sold. There's so many people who are doing really well in this industry. It's a very upcoming industry simply because a lot of people are now looking at sustainable fashion, sustainable luxury. They want to reuse the clothes which were worn earlier, reuse the bags. To be very honest, you will be surprised to see gold and silver or, and uh, any jewelry are not the only metals that increase in value. Some of the handbags and luxury clothes increase the value as well. That's amazing. And that is why people try to, you know, if it's safe to say, hold them and keep them safely so they can later sell them on at a higher price. This happens all the time. A lot of people have made a collection out of their own used goods and been selling them around. Simply because those things are not available now and they're back in trend. We always speak about something which is trend in trend in the, 90, in the 90s, back in the day and 20 years later now they're coming uh, back simply because some people decided to make it a trend again. So curation is a very interesting concept. I can be a travel curator as well. If I love traveling, I have a passion for it. I can curate, you know, travel experiences. Uh, I can have a vlog and a blog and write about this. I can have a website, help people understand uh, what all needs to be done in planning a journey, be a better traveler. Right now, uh, Content Arts Traveler, one of the most uh, interesting, I would say, and intriguing traveling uh, magazine and organization uh, has started a very new concept where they are doing uh, videos and webinars and discussions with experts how to be a better traveler post COVID-19 because now it's the discussion how it will change. A lot of travel curators, uh, what they're doing is they're coming up with new strategies for people to travel because right now, for example, Europe is the only place that's opened up and they've started travel, but international travel is still restricted for most of us. Like in India, we cannot travel until the next month, right? So what we can do is understand how we can be better traveler, what kind of experiences are safer for us. So this is again part of curation. You might be interested in jewelry, you will be only curating jewelry. Some of the biggest brands, um, Harry Winston, Tiffany & Co, Cartier, have curators for them. What they do is they take out pieces from the best of collections, organize them together and create looks. So people can directly buy those looks. I can simply say because I worked in the industry, I'm telling you it's a very interesting profession. Uh, curators also take another hat where they understand the patterns and what things people like in that particular era, that particular time, that particular year. And you know, they create, they create, they consult with brands and help them accordingly, you know, because for example, if someone is working as a buyer for a brand or for example, even a gallery, what kind of paintings are we bought? What kind of uh, jewelry are people preferring during that particular time of the year? So they can, you know, make purchases accordingly for the market. Even if I am, let's say, working with a bookstore or I am a reader, I can help, you know, all the biggest book galleries or publications in understanding what kind of books are people preferring these days? What kind of genre do they prefer? If I uh, I can be working with Netflix for that matter and organize video creations and seeing what kind of plays uh, are people preferring, what kind of movies they're watching, what kind of shows they're watching. You'll be surprised to see I brought up Netflix for a reason. You might see when you open Netflix, you get suggestions, right? That's a curated platform.
they look at the suggestion and analyze okay this is something you might prefer because you watch a particular show it's as simple curation is a very interesting concept and it's growing every day so if you're someone who's passionate about a very creative field and want to get into this absolutely this is your time and you can get in from any particular career domain or subject there's no problem at all if there's anything else you would want to know about this very intriguing growing domain please reach out to us we'll help you out thank you so much you can always reach out to us at hello at we are always here to help i hope this was helpful thank you so much